اللهم اهدنا في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت وتولنا في من توليت Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi This is Abu Dhar from the Ruqya Services And today brothers and sisters We wanted to share with you uh, Some different type of ta'weeth uh, That is being given To one of the patients we went to visit In the house The important and the danger uh, side of this ta'weeth It's that uh, this patient Went back home to have Ruqya done by so called spiritual healer And uh, they've been told They have got uh, black magic uh, done by Hindu style and uh, the Islamic uh, healing from the Quran it's not going to work on them case so uh, this Islamic healer he told them we will give you some reverse magic against the magic you have but using the Hindu style it's very dangerous and uh, we will share with you explain to you every Taweeth and what he's tried to do And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the fake healers and from the fake saraqis. Wa jazakum Allahu khairan ahsan al jaza. So, brothers and sisters, we share with you the first ta'weeth. Now, if you look well, in the right side of this paper, there is a private part of a, a woman, but I've hidden it with a red mark. And when you look to the left side, you will see another photo of a private part of a woman in the left side and there is some kind of writing i'm not sure what kind of language is that writing is but it shows you the level of danger how a muslim was wearing a ta'weed around the neck containing a photo of the breast a photo of the private part in the left mixed with some texture it shows you how important it is to understand when somebody gives you ta'weeth what are you wearing and what's inside it we can tell you clearly that this patient uh, was a female and was suffering after a while uh, wearing this ta'weeth of some pain around the private parts may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and prevent us from such a misguidance from such so fake raqis called islamic healers please careful from what you wear if you've been given a ta'weeth it's not from islam and sometimes it contains some reverse magic and it contains magic itself so private parts of a lady and a piece of paper to wear around the neck that's wrong the the second ta'weeth we've been given to open and have a look at it was a ta'weeth containing a waste of a cow so because this so-called islamic healer he tried to reverse the magic by the hindu style and we know how much the cow has got importance in that stage of that religion so he gave them a, a piece of paper uh, written uh, with uh, uh, red marks and symbols to create spell mixed with uh, a cow waist i can promise you it's what we've circled in uh, in the red circle there i can promise you that when i got my nose close to it and i wanted to smell what's inside it it was not smelling good at all and it was mixed with other stuff uh, may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and guide us from such ignorance And the danger and all this, it's that this so-called Raqi that they went to see, uh, he said that Islamically things cannot get better for her because she's got a Hindu magic done on her and the only solution is to reverse it with Hindu magic. Very dangerous and again, Muslims are wearing the waste of animals to get better. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala educate us and save us from such a misguidance. Ameen. The third ta'weeth, Uh, we found with this patient it was a piece of paper again with a, a picture of a female body uh, written and uh, in the bottom few boxes containing symbols now understand please that any boxes containing containing symbols and letters it is in fact to create a spell or to create some how can i explain how to create some kind of effect most of the time it's going to be used by jinn So any ta'weed that is containing numbers or uh, or letters, containing boxes, 
it's to believe to create a spell to counter a spell or to ask help from jinns and this is, is a science used by the Kabbalah in different uh, cultures. May Allah protect us. There's no such a thing in Islam. Now, bear in mind that the patient we went to see, she said she used to suffer from pain in the legs. She couldn't have uh, much uh, comfortability with her legs. She had some pain in the joints. So this so-called fake Raqi tried to give her this piece of paper trying to create, if you can see actually to the, to the position of the legs and the ta'weeth, they're not positioned properly. They're trying to create some kind of remedy for her legs using this ta'weeth. I can guarantee you that this patient situation got worse and things not got better for her and her some medical symptoms, they actually got even worse and worse and the Quran has helped her, mashallah, tabarakallah, to um, release some of the pain of her body Careful from who you go to, careful from the fake Raqi, careful from so-called magicians hidden under the name of Islamic haters. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. For any help or advice, please visit our website or our mobile number 07852 752 066. Wassalamu alaikum.